intervention and additional improvement for 24-7 water supply. The lake that you are now seeing is Amani Kere, the largest of all lakes in Tumkur. Though you can see water up till the horizon, this lake dries up in summer, creating a scarcity in water supply to the city of Tumkur. Hence, attempts have been made to find a remedy for this problem by diverting the course of the river Hemavati from Bugudanahalli Reservoir to Amanikere Lake. In spite of the good amount of water being supplied to the city, Tumkur experiences a shortage of 200 million cubic feet. To fulfill the demand of drinking water, the Smart City project has been implemented with the decision the water flow will be from Bugudanahalli to Amanikere. We truly believe that this project will be successful in overcoming water scarcity and will ensure 24-7 water supply. Hebbaka Lake is around 2 km from Amanikere. Under Phase 2, impounded water in Amanikere will be pumped to water treatment plant for treatment and supply to the city. But the source of water for the entire city of Tumkur, being Bugudanhalli Reservoir, the focus is naturally shifted to Hemavati. Using the available infrastructure, the company has been successful in regularly channelizing water from the river Hemavati to Amanikere. If this channelizing of water is continued for 90 days, Amanikere will be full and the concern of water scarcity will be settled for good. Since Amanikere is in a lowland area, water is being pumped instead of using gravity. Once upon a time, the local farmers were afraid if using gravity would harm their land or would the project disturb the groundwater. They are not hesitant about it anymore. Nonetheless, the people of Kalpataru Nadu should be provided with uninterrupted water supply 24-7 that Amanikere gains enough spirit to quench their thirst. Filling of this lake will have the following advantages. It will ensure 24-7 water supply to the entire city. It will recharge the bore wells within and around the city because there is a noticeable improvement in the underground water recharge. It will improve tourism since around the lake, Tuda or the Tumkur Urban Development Authority has developed parks and Tumkur Smart City Limited is developing walking paths, yoga retreats, urban hut, etc. The two bird islands in Amanikere will also have migrational birds from different parts of the world on a regular basis.